<sighs> Hopefully this only is one take. This uh this video was a uh, is a bit hard to do. Um yeah. Yeah, some things have been going on in the music world. Most recently the death of Chester Bennington. If you don't know who Chester Bennington is, he was the lead singer, I believe the lead singer and vocalist for Linkin Park. So, um, I don't know why I'm really making this video. Um, I guess I can say a few things. Um, I actually really didn't listen to Linkin Park that much. Like, um, I don't know, it's hard to, like, I guess I'll explain, because I, I, I knew who Linkin Park was, like, I knew the band, um, I knew they were a rock, I knew they were mostly a rock band, I'm pretty sure, um, and it was, um, gosh, I'm, I'm flubbing a lot in this video, I'm sorry guys, it was, uh, I remember it, um, I didn't actually regain interest in listening to Linkin Park until I heard Heavy, yeah, yeah, that song, um, from what I can tell, a lot of the Linkin Park fandom didn't really care for the song being mu that much. They thought it was a bit melodramatic and it changed, and, and like Linkin Park had changed as a band. So I went back personally to listen to some of their older stuff. Right here, I, I got my phone. I listened to two of their albums. Um, I just, let me see. Give me, give me just, give me a second. Yeah, the two al yeah the two albums I listened to were, uh, let me see, it was One More Light and Hybrid Theory, and I went back and I compared it to Heavy, the song they released like four months ago, and um, I also compared it to Talking to Myself, the song they released just this week actually, so um, I didn't. When I heard he, when I heard Chester Bennington died, I was, um, immediately I was curious because, you know, it, it really kind of sucked for me, because think about this, this band that, you know, I didn't really have much interest in listening to in the past, I go back and I listen to them, and four months later, their lead singer has died, that, re it, it, it was really, it was a strange series of events, and, you know, I know it was, a. Uh, a weird thing for the music industry too pretty sure but um yeah i'm rambling again sorry but uh i don't know but i think the most interesting thing about the whole lincoln park situation is the way in which he died um apparently he died i'm pretty sure it was hanging like um chester bennington hanged himself uh you know, which is, it's a sad thing to see someone kill, to end their own life. I'm um, pretty sure he was going through depression from, depression from what I read. So, I guess the point of this video is to say, you know, don't let depression get the best of you. Find help if you really need it, like, Honestly, I, I, I've never been to the point in my life where I've been depressed and thought about taking my own life. Never come to the point where I've thought about things like cutting myself, hanging myself. Um, you know, I'm 16. I'm a teenager. These are the sort of things that are supposed to come with the territory of being a teenager. But as you can see, it can happen to older individuals too. Chester Bennington was 41, I'm pretty sure. And you saw what, and we've seen what happened to him. Uh, so, you know, um, yeah, the point of this video is just to say, don't let depression get the best of you. Um, I'd say support Linkin Park, uh, you know, the other band members, Chester's fam family, maybe buy some of their music. I know I bought a few of their songs, and I've been listening to them lately. Um, I might listen to some more after this. So, you know. R.I.P. my man's Lincoln Park. And I'm making a new video right now, so. Fell apart. What it meant to be will eventually be a memory of a time I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I don't know why
why It doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep that in mind